Yo, what's up guys? Rago from MacKite. So I'm still down here in Claremont, Florida and we're doing some fundamental videos for you that are a bit on the shorter side. And today I wanted to show you how to set up a kite and then adjust it and kind of fine tune it for your preferences. And this is gonna vary from kite to kite. So every brand is gonna have different options, whether it's how you set up the steering lines, some you can actually change the bridle, like the FX will have different settings in the bridle or the drifter. And the same with uh, the RPMs here, there's a ton of tuning options. So I'm gonna cover as many bases as I can and just show you some different things and give you a good idea in general on how you can customize your kite. So we're gonna pump up this RPM here and we're gonna run through it. So all right, while I'm pumping this kite up, go ahead and click that eye icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen where you'll open a new tab. And I'll link in a complete guide to the subject, breaking down all the different things you consider so you can figure out how to fine tune your kite to whatever settings you might prefer. And as well, I'll try to include as much information on the different options and all the kites that I'm aware of. If I'm up to speed on the different bridle settings, the steering line settings and things to consider, I'll link that in and let you know how those will impact the kite. So the first step in tuning your kite is actually choosing the right size control bar. And uh, you'll notice that most brands will offer a variety of sizes and then we have adjustable bars and I've got a couple of bars here. So I've got a duotone bar and a slingshot bar. And uh, what you should know is smaller bars usually go with smaller kites, medium bars obviously go with medium kites and then the larger bars are designed for some of the bigger kites. So for example, this 17 inch bar here is great for like 10 meters through five meters. And then if you have a, a 20 inch bar, that's good for the 12 meter sizes. And you can kind of use that on some of the smaller sizes down to like an eight or up to a 15 meter. And then when you're working with like a 15 meter to a 17 meter kite, some people don't like it on 12, you can use a, a 23 inch bar. And what this is gonna do is it's going to change the turning speed of your kite because of the leverage. So if you put a smaller bar on a really large kite, you're gonna slow that thing way down. And there can be some benefits here. So if you're somebody who's trying to learn some new tricks using a uh, 17 inch bar like this on a larger kite, like a 12 meter or even a 15 and 17 meter kite, the kite's gonna be super stable. So if you're somebody who's trying handle passes or you're trying new tricks, it's gonna make a huge difference in kite stability. The downside is if you know, you're trying to redirect the kite on a landing when you're doing send jumps, a bar like this actually might make the experience a little more frustrating because you do want a faster, more reactive kite. And this is where, for some of you out there who might have lighter wind conditions and maybe you know, you're on a 12 meter on a regular basis, putting a 23 inch bar on that 12 meter is actually gonna make that kite a lot faster. So if you're doing kite loops or you're just doing a lot of big air stuff and you need to redirect the kite a lot faster, you can use a 23 inch bar and it's gonna make a world of difference in the speed of the kite. You're gonna take all the delay out of it. So bar size makes a huge impact on the kite and that's really the first step in getting your setup set up right. So after the control bars, something else that you can think about is your steering lines. Now you'll see almost every kite is going to have two to three settings here where you can actually change the bridle for your steering line. So the closer you get to the wing tip, more often than not, you're gonna get a faster kite and lighter bar pressure. When you use the middle, it's that middle of the road kind of setting. Usually most kites will come stock here and this is a great place to start. And then likewise, if you wanna slow the kite down and get more feedback, you can set all the kites up right here uh, the furthest point away from the wingtip. And that's gonna increase bar pressure and slow the kite down. So again, things to think about, you can experiment with the size bar that you're using. So if you want a really fast kite, if you're on a bigger kite, uh, 12 and up, you can move to your fastest setting on a large bar and you're gonna dramatically change the way that kite flies. So if you're somebody who's out there and you're kind of frustrated that your 12, your 15 is a bit too slow, try this, get a bigger bar and then set up on the closest to the wingtip and you're gonna speed that kite way up. And likewise, if you're somebody who's crashing the kite a lot and you just don't quite have control or maybe you're riding somewhere where you're always on an eight meter or a seven meter, uh, use a really, really, really small bar and then set the kites up right here away from the wing tip and you're gonna slow that kite way down. And then as well, a lot of kites will actually have settings on the bridle. So every kite's gonna be different. Wave kites 
We usually have different settings, like you can set them up for onshore or side shore conditions. And kites like the RPM, they're actually very nice because they have a wake and a freestyle setting. So again, with the freestyle setting, you can actually speed the kite up. So if you really like a fast kite and you have a bigger, bigger RPM, you can use the faster setting up here with a bigger bar and then put the kite in the freestyle setting and all of a sudden that 12 meter is going to be so much faster it's better for kite loops again redirecting the kite and then likewise if you're somebody who wants to slow the kite down you can put it on the wake style setting so when you start pairing all these different things together you start making a really big difference on the feel of the kite and it's a good idea to experiment so with whatever kite you have check out the different options that you have and then just see how it impacts the kite. So coming back to the uh, steering lines here, you can see there are three knots on this pigtail. And I have a rhyme that I've always taught to my students and it's a little silly, uh, but back when I was an instructor, it was really useful to remember. If the wind is light, rig closer to the kite. So you can see this knot here is the closest knot to the kite. And uh, most kites will usually come with one to three more often than not, the center knot is the standard knot, so you'll start here and then you can experiment. And then likewise, if the wind is strong, go long. So you can rig further away from the kite and actually take some power out of the kite. And if you wanna learn more about this, I did a video with Blake Olson years ago called uh, Five Steps to Better Kite Control, and we go pretty in depth on it. So you can check that video out and learn more about this. Uh, now, something to consider is when you're pairing your bar with the kite, not every kite is going to have three knots. So for example, Duotone, they're pretty specific with their designs. And while it is the inverse, this kite only has one pigtail adjustment on the steering line. And you can see that they do have the same three settings on the wingtip, so you can adjust you can use the soft setting, which is a faster kite with less bar pressure. They have the medium setting, which will be the medium, and then they have the hard setting. So again, you're slowing the kite down and you're adding bar pressure. So this is fairly universal across all kites. So those are the basics there, and I recommend you just go through your kite manual, set your kite up, check it out, see if you can adjust the bridle. Uh, a good example is the Cabrina FX. It's been one of my favorite kites for years, and it does have a kite loop setting and a, um, I forget what it's called, it might be a freestyle setting or something like that, but you can change the bridles on that kite as well. So set your kite up and do some experimentation and then start experimenting with different size bars and just think about it before you go out. So if you like a slower kite, use a smaller bar. If you like a faster kite, set it up with a bigger bar. And then from there, you can really customize your ride to fit exactly how you want it to be. So hey guys, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, this has been Raga.